New at 5.30, a New Bedford police detective lost her hair once during a battle with cancer, and she tells us she's willing to lose it again for a good cause. Eyewitness News reporter Rosie Wood sat down with Detective Claudia Sampson. She joins us now with her story from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. April 28th is National Brave Heart Day. It's a chance to honor the kids battling cancer in our communities. I spent the day with a New Bedford police officer who's choosing to honor these kids in a very special way. New Bedford Police Detective Claudia Sampson will be buzzing off all of this hair in just a few weeks on June 4th. These kids are going through a lot. They, I, I know when I had cancer myself how much I went through and I can only imagine little kids going through that. After battling cancer in 2002 and 2010, Sampson knows what it's like to be bald. And now she shaves her head to show children currently fighting their own battles that they're not alone. First time I had cancer, um, I, I didn't lose my hair. And then the second time, I was um, one morning I was taking a shower, and when I washed my hair, my hands were full of hair. And I said, okay, this has to go. I made an appointment with my hairdresser, and um, a bunch of the guys that worked here came with me down there and um, shaved their heads too. It was, it was nice, and it made me feel better about it. In the same way, Buzz Off for Kids with Cancer, which is held at Gillette Stadium each year, raises money to help decorate hospital rooms, provide art kits and crafts, as well as other distractions these kids need to feel normal. Something Samson will never take for granted ever again. It's got to be horrendous for these kids, you know, because they don't understand. You know, they just know that they don't feel good and they know they have no hair left. And I just, I feel for them. Now, this will be her fourth time at the Buzz Off event. Everyone registering is asked to raise at least $350. Last year, she was able to raise $1,500. And so far this year, she tells me she's raised $600. With the Mobile Newsroom, Rosie Woods, Eyewitness News.